And it's time for Pop Master Mastermind. Okay, we have got 10 questions plus a 3 and 10. Uh, we'll go through this quite quickly. Okay. So, here we go. Our first question is all about Jimmy Somerville. There he is, lovely little man. Question being, who joined Jimmy Somerville on his 1989 hit Comment Dare Adieu? Was it Mirel Mathieu, Francois Hardy, June Miles Kingston or Mylene Farmer? Who joined Jimmy Somerville on his 1989 hit Comment Dare Adieu? That's easy for me to say. Uh, Morel, Mathieu, Francois Hardy, June Miles Kingston, or Mylene Farmer? I did this tonight at six o'clock. You, you should be very proud of me. <laughs> the answer is June Miles Kingston, two out of two. Got that correct. Our next question concerns the three. Next question. Atomic Kitten had a top ten hit in 2003 with which Cool and the Gang song? Fresh, Ladies Night, Celebration, Cherish. Atomic Kitten had a top ten hit in 2003 with which Cool and the Gang song? Fresh, Ladies Night, Celebration, or cherish. Three, two, one. Here we go. Let's have a look at who got that correct. It was Ladies Night and two out of two again. Right, next one is all about these people who you've just heard about. Cool the gang. What I want to know is what song title links Cool the gang with Joe Jackson? Breaking us in two, stepping out, it's different for girls, or is she really going out with him? What song title links Cool the gang with Joe Jackson? Breaking us in two, stepping out. It's different for girls, or is she really going out with him? They both recorded songs, titles. Song, can't even say it. They both recorded song titles, both the same. They're not exact, they're not the same song, but they're the same song title, is what I meant. But which one was it? It was Stepping Out. Well done. I think if you took an educated guess there, you probably would have got that. Our next question is all about this person, Sophie Ellis Baxter. Can you name the band Sophie Ellis Baxter was in before she went solo? Was it The Audience, Black Box Recorder, The Datsuns, or Kinnicky? Name what band Sophie Ellis Baxter was in before she went solo? The audience, Black Box Recorder, The Datsuns, or Kinnicky? These are probably a bit easier tonight, but okay. I think she's trying to blend in with that chair. The answer, I think this is a bit of an obvious one, is it not? Probably is. Let's have a go. I wonder what Rollsworth would have done. <clears throat> Oh, only one person went for that one. It was the audience. Sophie Alice Baxter was in. If you can't do it when you're young, when can you do it? That was um, their only hit, was it? Even Was it even a hit? I seem to remember being on the chart show. Next one are these three. It's the Bee Gees. What I want to know is which of these artists have the Bee Gees not written for? Dionne Warwick, Barbara Streisand, Gladys Knight, 
or Diana Ross? Which of these artists have the Bee Gees not written for? Dion Warwick, Barbara Streisand, Gladys Knight or Diana Ross? Does the cat come down the stairs? I believe she has. Have you? Where'd you go? The answer is Gladys Knight. Yeah, never written song from the Bee Gees. Dana Ross was uh, Chain Reaction, Barbara Streisand, Woman in Love, Dionne Warwick, uh, Heartbreaker. So what I'm going to give you now is a top five from February of a year what you have to tell me is which year was it i will tell you the songs if you can't see them number five nasty girl from notorious big diddy and nelly number four was a new entry for westlife with amazing number three was down to thunder in my heart again mech featuring leo sayer number two was a new entry for kareen billy ray with put your records on and number one was sorry from madonna what i want to know is what year did this all happen was it 2003, 2004, 2005 or 2006? This is the top five from the end of February in what year? 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006. Where are you at? Behind me? No, she's not behind me. She's probably on the sofa. Right, there we go. The top five from what year? They were still having hits in this year, Westlife. It was... Ooh, it was 2006. It was 2006. One year I get the t-shirt. <laughs> um... Sorry, got the number one. Uh, you might have been thinking of uh, that one. The, uh, every little thing. Hung up. Hung up was 2005. Sorry was uh, also from that album that got into the charts. One year out. There we go. Do you know who she is? That's not the question. It's much easier than that. What was the name of the only chart hit in the UK for Maria Vidal? Let's go round again. Free, rock steady, or body rock? What was the name of the only chart hit in the UK for Maria Vidal? Let's go round again. Free, rock steady, or body rock? Uh, in your head, Mac was 2005, but Corinne Billy Ray was 2006. Well, I suppose it was also February, so it was kind of like the start of the year. The answer? I think this is quite easy, this one, maybe. Hopefully, is it? Yeah, it was. It was Body Rock. 1985 got to number 11. We're rattling through these. We are now at question 8. And it concerns this person. I know it looks like he's on pointless, but he's not. <laughs> this is Nathan Morris, founder member of which group? All for One, Joe C, Black Street, or Boys to Men? This is Nathan Morris, founder member of which group? All for One, Joe C, Black Street, or Boys to Men? I believe he was on a, a quiz show of some description, but I can't remember which one. It wasn't Pointless, by the way. <laughs> Even though it does look like the thing that they wear on Pointless, you know, their name badges. The answer was Boys to Men. Well done if you got that one right. We're at the penultimate question of the questions. It's all about this. Reach Up For The Sunrise was the last top 10 hit for which group? 
Duran Duran, Blue, S Club Juniors, or Simply Red. Reach Up for the Sunrise was the last top 10 hit for which group? Duran Duran, Blue, S Club Juniors, Simply Red. I forgot to put right the word top. Last top 10 hit should say top 10 hit. I was rushing. Let's see if you got this correct. It was Duran Duran. Well done. Reach up for the sunrise. <laughs> and the last of the questions is about this. Don't know what this is for, but anyway. Love Goes is the name of the current album by which artist? Dua Lipa, Weekend, Sam Smith, Mabel. Love Goes is the name of the current album by which artist? Dua Lipa, Weekend, Sam Smith, or Mabel? Love Goes. I believe it's been out a couple of months, maybe? Maybe, I'm not sure. Here we go, waiting for players. <clears throat> the answer is Sam Smith. Sam Smith Love Goes, one of his new albums. So one of you got that right, one of you didn't get that right. And our last question of the night concerns three songs from one artist. And this artist is Jennifer Lopez. What I will give you next are four answers, each with three song titles. One of them has three correct song titles from Jennifer Lopez. The other three have got two correct song titles from Jennifer Lopez and one incorrect song title from Jennifer Lopez. You have to tell me which one has got the three correct songs from Jennifer Lopez. If you're ready, we will begin. Here we go. Is it Love Don't Cost a Thing, Ain't It Funny, I Turn to You? All I have on the floor, tell me. I'm real, Jenny from the block, fighter. Or if you have my love, waiting for tonight and play. Which one is correct? The theme, three tracks, the three tracks from Jennifer Lopez. Love don't cost a thing, ain't it funny I turn to you. All I have on the floor, tell me. I'm real, Jenny from the block, fighter. Or if you have my love, waiting for tonight or play. So which one is the three correct song titles? I can tell you, um, Fighter is a song from Christina Aguilera. I Turn To You is also a song from Christina Aguilera. And Tell Me is also a song from Christina Aguilera. It is If You Have My Love, Waiting For Light and Play. So, there we go. And that is the end of the quiz. Because it went black. Here we go. End quiz. End quiz. Hi, Super Cesar. <laughs> You're nearly at the end here. Uh, let's look at the final results as I bring you across over to the intermission. Hi. Hi, Super Cesar. Right, let's have a look at the score between the two of you and see who won. It's Lurch, it'll be Lurch and I. <clears throat> uh, it's Lurch. <laughs> Lurch has won with 177,742. And Darth Fartner, 66, got 110,814. Both good results, but both good scores. Lurch went for it with 17,000 points. Right, who is on? Can we start again? Uh, no. <laughs> um, let's see. Do I see this is I usually have